it's 10 30 at night and I thought I would make a quick video for you guys so yeah but and if you move dog my phone is gonna fall lay down really my dog just knocked y'all over isn't that lovely of him <laughs> and um just a little denture talk and I thought I would show you what I keep with me in my purse at all times um so yeah anyway so how are y'all tonight are you good yay I ate a hot dog tonight could not pick it up and eat it had to use a fork so, anyhow but I did eat a chili dog uh, like I said I had to use a fork um, it was good everything was great except I eat relish on my hot dog scrappy daddy left to go to work come here daddy left daddy's not here that was his truck leaving I think. Hold on. Yeah, I think he left. Anyways, the relish got under my dentures. And it was like having rocks underneath my dentures. It was. I don't want to say it hurt. Well, yeah, it kind of hurt. I actually had to go pop them out and rinse them out and rinse my teeth off or whatever after I ate tonight but other than that they did good um anyhow <laughs> what I was going to show y'all is I keep this little nifty little packet in my purse I think I got this at Rite Aid because it had a bigger bag with it and this bag, the smaller bag. <laughs> and I keep this in my purse with me at all times. And I'm just going to show you what I keep with me. Um, just in case. So, I mean, it holds a pretty good amount of stuff. I mean, it's all travel size, except for my powder adhesive. So, the first thing that I keep with me is the... Super strong all day hold poly grip. It's the the gel. I haven't used gel adhesives a whole lot yet. Yeah, I've still been pretty much using powder adhesive. Um, so if anybody has any tips on the gel adhesive, comment below because I'm still so new to this that yeah, I'm not. Sometimes the powder doesn't hold. And everybody says this holds better. The one time I used it, it did hold better, but I don't know. I, I guess I like the slimy when I take my dentures out with the um, powder adhesive. I like the slimy more than I like like the hard gunk on my roof of my mouth and stuff. But I have that, and I also use my. This is what I've lived by since I started using the adhesive it's the poly grip um it's the powder this one's almost empty I have another one in my um little denture kit in the bathroom I have the what's that other kind I have the kind that has <coughs> the zinc stuff in it I don't know what you call it right fix it in that's it fix it in but my mama told me to stay away from it because it has zinc in it. And I'm not exactly sure 
what zinc does, but they say a, a lot of dirt, like if you use it all the time, it causes health issues. I might need to do some research on that. So I've been living by the poly grip. Um, I also have two toothbrushes. Look, they're my little pony. Do you see this? Oh my God, do you see this? Do you see it? How stinking adorable. I have that one, and then I have the blue one. And the pink is the one I use for my dentures, and the blue one is for my gums. And I also keep, <laughs> excuse me. I actually don't use this a whole lot now. Right after I had, on, had my dentures put in, um, where I was getting sore spots on my gums, which I don't get them, I haven't gotten any since the first week. Um, but like the first week that I would have to put my dentures in, like where the sore spots were, it hurt to actually put my dentures in. And the trick that I used to do that every morning was I would take a Q-tip and I'd get some like or gel or something and I would just take that swab and I would go all across the top here and especially down here every morning before I put my dentures in it's like I would just numb it up it's a good tip to have actually because when you numb it up it doesn't <coughs> hurt as bad to put your dentures in because I'm not gonna lie the first week or so while you're getting used to them that's the hardest part is like trying to like when you take your dentures out at night the next morning to put them in that that's a little aggravating and it, it, it feels weird and it is sore because it's like you take them out and your gums rest overnight so you're irritating them when you put them back in but I haven't used this since like the first week seriously but I keep it with me just in case because you never know I mean honestly you never know but yeah that's what I keep with me at all times all times I keep q-tips or gel two toothbrushes um I'd like to find some of the ginger like toothpaste in a travel size that would be great if anybody knows where to get that let me know <laughs> but yeah I keep the um toothbrushes the or gel and and he said with me at all times. All times. So, yeah. That's what I keep in my purse. Now, um, didn't you talk? Didn't you talk? Let's just talk. Um, how do y'all do the drindles, is that what they're called, on your own dentures? I've watched so many videos, Scrappy Lay Down, so many videos of people doing this, and that's cool and all. Like, I really wish I could, but I pay too much money for these suckers for me to go and hack away at them. Knowing my luck, I would bust them or take too much down or God only knows, and I don't have, like three thousand dollars to go rebuy some more so I've been too scared even my mom says she uses an emery board when she gets spots and she'll file them down I think I did it one time and I was too scared to um, file it because I, I just maybe it's my anxiety I don't know but I don't want to go and F them up. I mean, it took me years to get away to get them, for one. And for two, I can't get any more. Not right now. I got like 11 months before I can get my permanents. These are just my temps. But, um, yeah. So, if y'all do that. More power to you. I just, I just cannot make myself do that. I just can't do it. I cannot do it. Um, so yeah, I, I, I guess sometimes I wish I could. Luckily, I haven't had issues like that. 
with mind bothering me to where I feel like I have to go in and shape them or shave them or whatever it is they're doing when they use the drindle. Um, but yeah, but, um, I haven't had any other issues or let's see. Oh, and speaking of, I mentioned earlier about why I got my dentures, um, that I have, I had mental issues and medications what caused me to lose my teeth. If y'all want to hear any more about that, comment below and let me know. Um, because I don't mind talking about more than just denture stuff. Um, yeah, I mean, sometimes it's good to hear other people's perspectives on other issues and people who have been through the same issues <coughs> as you, you know, just how they handle it and other people's point of views and I, I know it's always helped me and um I mean why not if y'all want to hear anything like that or if y'all have any questions I have a boo-boo right here I'm sorry that's so off track um any questions or anything like that or if y'all want to hear more about that comment um yeah or if y'all want me to do makeup routines or skincare routines I mean I'm not I'm not like a Sephora girl or anything, so I'm not a makeup artist, but I'm open to options for anything, um, but yeah. But I just wanted to do a quick video to show you what I keep in my purse um, at all times. I know I did a little checklist before I had my teeth pulled of what I needed to buy, and um, in a day or two, I'll do, um, like, a favorites video for y'all. What I like the, to use the most. And what I don't like so far. So, yeah. But, I guess I'm gonna go to bed. I have to get up and go to work tomorrow. So, just wanted to make this quick little video. But, until next time, keep smiling, y'all. And, keep your head up. Chin up. Turn that frown upside down. It's gonna get better. <laughs> Bye, y'all.